guys, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a quick first impressions video for you. Today we're taking a look at a real steel and I am a big real steel fan. They tend to deliver great value, uh, really nice quality and some interesting designs, especially interesting designs from the designer of this knife, Ivan Bregnitz. This is the Rowcut. We've also had the Lynx and the Akuma on this channel, both of which I love, great knives. Um, double row ceramic bearings, which is phenomenal. Anyway, I've been wanting a row cut for a while now, really been interested in getting my hands on one. And there, there weren't any, normally, you know, I get this stuff from White Mountain Knives and, and I think uh, Justin does happen to have some row cuts in stock right now. So just kind of a happy accident, but that's not where this came from. As you can see, the color is not the usual. Instead, we've got this sort of purple micarta. Um, it looks a little bit brown on camera, but I will say in person, it definitely looks more purple. Anyway, the point is, this is a Knife Nuts exclusive Real Steel row cut. Uh, the guys over at the Knife Nuts podcast do appreciate Real Steel. They, they often have uh, their knives, and they've had a few of Ivan's other designs featured on the channel. In fact, I think a little bit ago, they did a special order where you could order um, some higher end stuff uh, designed by Ivan and maybe a couple of other uh, overseas designers. Anyway, when I saw them offer this, I was all over it. So as soon as I could, you know, I jumped on that order and uh, it took a little bit of time because when I order stuff from the States, I tend to use a, a proxy and I'm not going to get into the details of that. But I will say uh, this did take a little bit of time and I, you know, waited patiently and now it's finally here. So I get to share it with you uh, just in, in brief form right now. And then we'll go into a longer discussion when I get into a full review. The other thing I want to say is with this knife, I also received this knife. This is the Real Steel H6, and it's a particular version, the, the Blue Sheep version. It's a flat grind, very, very heavy duty knife. If you're looking for like an outdoor survival style folder that can really take a beating, this is a great option. And I will discuss that more. I've got a few uh, of this style of knife that I want to do a little bit of a video about, including this one. Anyway, back to the Rokit. Let's do a quick rundown on the materials and the size and the features and all that kind of stuff before I give you sort of my initial impressions here. So up front, we have a flat round N690 blade. Look at the satin finish on that. Real Steel has done a really nice job. A little bit of a fuller here, a nice run of jimping. Uh, the stop pins are external part of the blade, you know, whether you call those uh, stop lugs maybe or whatever, dual row ceramic. Uh, bearing, which is phenomenal. Now, I've got to stop here for just a second and say, look, we have this technology. It's not adding a huge amount of cost. I don't know why all bearing flippers are just not dual row ceramic bearings. It, it would just be a huge upgrade and take the one limitation that we normally think of when we think of bearings, which is, you know, they, they tend to be not as tough and not as durable. And it really adds an extra layer to that. So really, really huge improvement. And I love that Real Steel does this as often as they do. And I wish that it became just sort of the standard way of doing things. Anyway, moving on, this is a front flipper or a thumb stud deployed knife. The front flipper, flipper works extremely well as do the thumb studs, uh, which is not something that we see commonly when sometimes when you use thumb studs as the blade stop, uh, it doesn't work well because they have to be so close to the handle. But in this case, it works really, really well. And the action on this is absolutely superb. Um, of course, stainless steel liner lock. It is milled out internally to save on some weight. We've got that really, really nice looking. Now it looks really brown on camera, but it's purple. Um, micarta backspacer as well with sort of a what would you say semi floating backspacer there very deep carry minimalist clip which means this knife just disappears the hardware is that signature ivan Bregnitz slot driver hardware uh, which you know it's not a torx but it, it works pretty well i've taken a few of them apart and had no issues okay the first impression i get on this is 
Very, very enjoyable knife, a, a super fidget friendly knife that has great ergonomics and is just highly enjoyable. And for the price point, uh, this is a really, really good offering. Now, if you get the standard one, I think they're about 75 bucks. You can, of course, go to White Mountain Knives, save yourself 10% off using my discount code. This one was a little bit more. I don't know if there's going to be a following uh, a follow up run. I will touch base with the Knife Nuts guys to see about that before I get to my full review. If you want one of these, though, they might be all gone. It might be too late, but uh, you can still get the standard version and I think you should. If you're a folding knife guy, if you like something really nice, uh, let's touch on the very last thing before I wrap it up. The size on this is pretty substantial. Eight and five sixteenths, three and three quarter inches of blade. So that's lots of cutting edge there. Four and 13 sixteenths closed. So pretty nicely done in terms of blade to handle ratio. All right, three and three eighths grip area. That's just in here. But, and so you can see most of the time my, my hand fits in there just fine. You can choke up on this if you're careful, uh, or if you had really big hands and you, you kind of landed further back, that would also work. So there's actually quite a bit of variability with this grip. It's pretty plain and, and allows for a lot of movement. 3.5 ounces, which is very nice for a knife of this size. Uh, I, you know, Real Steel and Ivan have done a really nice job on this knife. And now, you know, having the Knife Nuts exclusive with the purple is really, really cool and makes this unique and interesting and different so this one for me stands out as you know pretty impressive right off the hop i will put some time and use into this knife and see how it holds up over time and then i'll come back to you with a full review and some comparisons and, and further discussion thanks a lot for watching don't forget to like and subscribe we'll talk to you soon